Lift up your voice and pray for the glory. Let the glory descend upon your life. Lift up your voice. Let your glory be seen. Pray for the glory. Let your glory be seen. Let your glory. Let your glory. Let your glory be Jesus. We need your glory. Yes, we need you, Jesus. Mashanda raba hikara baba basondo robo shanda. Masende rebe hikara baba basondo robo shanda. Maseke rebe shanda. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise, Jesus. When the glory comes, there will be no word to say. Than to say, oh Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Jesus. Mashantaraba hikarababa. Masotorobo hitarababa sondorobo shanda. Masekerebe shanda raba hikarababa. Masondorobo hitaraba senderebe. Masokorobo shenderebe sanda. Masekerebe shikarababa. Masondorobo hitarababa. We need your glory, we need your glory. Need your glory. But I release your glory this afternoon, oh God. Release your glory upon our life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But I release your glory. Release your glory. Release your glory. Release your glory. We need your glory, oh God, this afternoon, oh God. Release your glory in the name of Jesus. But I release your glory. Release your glory. Release your glory in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. But I will worship you, Lord. We exalt your holy name. You are worthy of our praise, O oh God, in Jesus' name. name. Amen. Now, the Bible says in the book of Romans 8, verse 11, it says that it is the spirit that quickens our mortal body. Amen. Hallelujah. You are praying right now that your body will be quickened. Amen. In the name of sometimes even the weather slow us down. But you are praying that the Holy Spirit, now that the glory has descended, the yes, power Jesus. of God must quicken your mortal body. In the name of Jesus. Say with me, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I'm in your presence. As I'm in your presence. Let the power of the Spirit. Let the power of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Quicken me. Quicken me. My mortal body. My mortal body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let every weakness. Let every weakness. Let every sickness. Let every sickness. Leave me now. Leave me now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, quicken me. Lord, quicken me. Whatever, whatever the enemy, the enemy have used, have used to tie me down, to tie me down. As I pray, as I pray, I command my freedom. I command my freedom. I command my freedom. I command my freedom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice and pray. May you be quickened. May you be quickened. By the Holy Ghost. May freedom come to you. Holy Spirit of the Lord, Lord, quicken me this afternoon. Holy Spirit of God. Quicken me this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Body. Every sickness, in everything Jesus that the enemy name. have put in this body, oh God. Lebe, but I take it off, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. But I remove it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Holy Spirit of the Lord, oh Lord, quick him in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Everything that the devil have thrown, oh Lord, on this body, every sickness, anything that is not of you, oh Lord. But I remove it this afternoon in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, oh Lord, as you call upon your name this afternoon, quick him in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Holy Spirit of the Lord, O Lord. Come and have your way this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. But I bring this word unto your evil hands. Whatever the enemy have put that is not of you, O Lord. But I take it out, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Quicken our mortal body in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Holy Spirit, quicken our mortal body in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. For that Jehovah God, O Lord. Quicken our mortal body in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, O Lord, we say take control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. This afternoon, oh Lord, Holy Spirit, come and quicken us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as we call upon your name, oh God, and quicken us this afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, and quicken us, oh Lord, this afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus, and quicken our mortal body, quicken our mortal body, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the Spirit of the Lord, oh Lord, this afternoon, oh Lord, and quicken our mortal body, the mighty name of Jesus. Every weakness, every sickness, every.
it that it's in not of you, O Lord. But I remove it this afternoon. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Masha Karaba Sandaraba. Maso Torobo Hikarababa. Maso Torobo Shandaraba. Maso Kerebe Shataraba Shete. Holy Spirit, O God, O Lord. Equicking us this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Equicking us in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Every weakness, O Lord. But I remove it, O Lord. Every sickness, O Lord. But I will destroy this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Every spirit that making us so weak, O Lord. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We destroy in the name of Jesus. But I quicken our mortal body this afternoon, this afternoon, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Holy Spirit, I quicken our mortal body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I quicken us this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Man shekerebe sandaraba. Man soto robo hikarababa sondo robo shanda. Man shekerebe shikarababa sandaraba sheni. Holy Spirit, I quicken us this afternoon in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, quicken us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, quicken our mortal body. Every spirit of weakness, every spirit of sickness, after the name of Jesus. Every spirit of sickness, after the name of Jesus. Every spirit of weakness, O Lord, we come against you in the name of Jesus. This afternoon, O Lord, quicken our mortal body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, we come against every sickness. This afternoon, every weakness, O Lord, everything that is not of you, this body, but I remove this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, 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 man hikala baba, man soto robo hikala baba, son do robo shida, man sekerebe shamba baba, man soto robo hikala baba, shenderebe shanta. Holy Spirit, O Lord, every weakness, remove it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians, chapter one, from verse sixteen, Paul the apostle was saying that I do not cease to pray for you that the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may give unto you the spirit of wisdom, hallelujah, Amen. and revelation in the knowledge of him, that the eyes of our understanding, hallelujah, be enlightened. Do you hear? We are going to pray that the eyes of our understanding, in other words, be open. Now, when you have understanding in a lot of things, you live a peaceful life. Amen. Nobody can, you know, can take advantage of you. That's right. Hallelujah. Because Amen. whatever Kalabule they are bringing, you know and you understand. Any Sikagari cannot <laughs> take advantage of you. <laughs> are you here? Because you are wiser than that. Did, did you hear? You are clever and wiser than that. How can somebody say, bring money, I'll double it for you? Double it for yourself. Ah, oh, sometimes I don't understand some people. So lift up your hands. Say, Father God. Father God. As I pray today. As I pray today. Let the eyes. Let the eyes. Of my understanding. Of my understanding. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me. Give me. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And revelation. And revelation. In the knowledge of you. In the knowledge of as you. As I pray today. As I pray today. Give me understanding. In the name of Jesus, in the name lift of up Jesus. your voice and pray. May you pray. May you ask for it. Father, this afternoon, oh God, as I lift up my voice and pray, oh God, give me the knowledge of you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Let my eye be open, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Let me have all understanding in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Father Jehovah God, as I pray this afternoon, oh God, give me that knowledge, oh Lord. Give me that wisdom, oh God, Jehovah God, oh Lord. So this will be able to Oh Lord, in the mighty be name of open, Jesus Christ, open. let my eye be open. Let this Abba afternoon, oh God, oh, let my eye let be open. Let my delivered. eye be open. In let the name of Jesus delivered. Christ, oh Lord, from let me be, be delivered, oh Lord, from the power of let the enemy. In the name of Jesus Mark Christ, oh Lord, Father Jehovah let God, oh Lord, let my eye be open, oh God. Let my eye be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, let my eye be open this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, but let my eye be open, oh Lord. Give me that wisdom. Give me that knowledge, oh Lord. 
Jehovah God, O Lord, to be able to descend, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. But this afternoon, O Lord, I call upon your name, O God. Give me that wisdom, give me that wisdom, give me that wisdom this afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Give me that wisdom this afternoon, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Give me that knowledge, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Give me the knowledge, give me the knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. For I let my eye be open, let my eye to be open, let my eye be open, O God, in the name of Jesus. Ma shekere besanda, ma sondo robo hikara baba sekere besanda, ma soto robo hikara baba sonda raba shekere be, ma sekere besanda raba heri tara baba sondo robo hikara baba, ma soto robo hikara baba sendele besanda, ma soto robo hikara baba baba, ma sondo robo hikara baba baba, ma sanda raba shekere besanda, ma sekere be hikara baba soto robo hita, ma soto robo robo hikara baba baba sondo robo shanta, ma soko robo shanta raba sanda, ma sekere be shanta raba baba soko robo shanta, ma soto robo shanta. Amen. Amen. Now very soon, you know that will be the end of the year, and then we will begin a new year. Hallelujah. We are praying, and we, you and I know, as we get to this stage of the year, sometimes there are a lot of accident, tragedies going on. But we want to pray that no evil will befall us. Amen. In Psalm 91, verse 10, the Bible says that, And no evil shall befall you, Amen. nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you Amen. to keep you in all your ways. Jesus. So we are praying for ourselves and our families and the church Amen. that in the name of Jesus, no evil shall come near our dwelling. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will cause his angels to take charge of us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Your word says. Your word says. No evil. No evil. Shall befall me. Shall befall me. Nor shall any plague. Or shall any plague. Come near my dwelling. Come near my dwelling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray now. As I pray now. Cause your angels. Cause your angels. To take charge. To take charge. Over us. Over us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And whatever. And whatever. The enemy. The enemy. May have proved. Program. May have program. May have plan. May have plan. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it return. Let it return. Back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Ma shanda la baba hika la baba songo lo bo shanda la baba. In the name of Jesus. Ma sekere be shanda la baba hika la baba sekere. No evil. No evil. No evil. God, oh Lord, we call upon your name this afternoon, oh God. We stand upon your word, oh Lord, because your word said, oh Lord, no evil shall come near me, oh Lord. No evil shall come near my children. No evil shall come near my in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. For that Jehovah God, O oh Lord. You say you will be in charge of me. You will be in charge of my children in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. This afternoon, O Lord, for that be in charge of my life, O Lord. Be in charge of my household, O Lord. Be in charge of my loved ones, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Everything that the enemy has programmed against me, against my children, against my husband, O Lord. I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Every evil hold that the enemy has plotted, O Lord. Against me, O Lord. Let it backfire. Let it backfire this afternoon. Let it backfire the name of Jesus. Let it backfire the name of Jesus. Let it backfire the name of Jesus. Back to sender, oh God. Back to sender the name of Jesus. Whatever that the enemy has planned, oh Lord. Every evil, oh Lord. Every satanic power, oh Lord. Whatever they have planned against me, oh God. Against my church, oh Lord. Against my children. Against my loved ones, oh Lord. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it backfire the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy whatever that the enemy has planned, oh Lord. Let it backfire, oh God, oh Lord. Let it backfire in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Whatever they plan, oh Lord, return it back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planned, oh Lord, concerning my life, oh Lord. Concerning the life of my loved ones, oh Lord. We return it back to sender. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they plan, oh God, let it backfire this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh 
Lord. Whatever they are planting from, oh Lord, from my house, from my home, oh Lord, let it back fire, let it back fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let it back fire this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, whatever they plant, oh Lord, I cancel it, it shall not walk, it shall not stand, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and I will stand upon your word this afternoon, oh God. Whatever the any plant, oh Lord, let it back fire, let it back fire, let it back fire, let it back fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let it back fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, we return their plan back to sender. Back to send that the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Whatever the plan, oh Lord, it shall not work, it shall not stand, oh God. Let it back fire. Let it back fire. Let it back fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it back fire. Whatever the enemy plan, oh Lord. Concerning my life, oh Lord. Concerning the life of my loved ones, oh Lord. Let it back fire. Let it back fire this afternoon. Let it back fire. Let it back fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. As we pray this afternoon, whatever evil intention of the enemy has concerning us, oh Lord, we cancel it. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. No evil will befall us, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Whatever the plan, oh Lord, let it backfire. In the name of Jesus, let it backfire this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Mahi kalaba sondo robo shanda. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, now we keep on praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are entering into our various families. In the blood testy altars, hallelujah, seeking blood as we come to the end of the year, hallelujah. We destroy them in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus, we crush Amen. Them. we fight them, we destroy them before they destroy us. In the name of Jesus, are you here? Any blood testy or uh, altar there Release cannot fire. touch you, cannot touch your in the children, name of Jesus. cannot touch any member of your house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you Amen. ready? Say with me, Father God. Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we enter. As we enter. Into the last part. The last part. Of the year. Of the year. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. I come against. I come against. I come against every blood test. Every blood test. Altars. In my father's house. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my mother's house. In my spouse's house. In my spouse's house. Even in my village. In my village. I come against them. I come against them. I release. I release the fire of God. The fire of God. I destroy. I destroy. I destroy them. I destroy them before they destroy me. Before they destroy me. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. May the fire of God. May the fire of of God. Locate them. Locate them. And destroy them. And destroy them. As I clap my hands. As I clap my hands. And I pray. And I pray. I command the fire. I command the fire. The fire of God. The fire of God. Come against them. Come against destroy. them. Destroy. Destroy. This evil altar. This evil altar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice come and pray. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire. Let me hear you. Fire. 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 Father, Every evil Altar, every evil thing that is working against me, against my loved ones, oh Lord. I release the fire of God to consume them. I release the fire of God. I release the fire of God this afternoon to consume every evil altar in my father's house, oh Lord. I release the fire of God, oh Lord, to consume them in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Every evil altar, oh Lord, seeking for blood, oh Lord. I release the fire of God to consume you wherever you are coming from in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. I enter my mother's house, oh God. Every evil altar, oh Lord, that is seeking for blood, O oh Lord. I release the fire of God to consume you this afternoon. I release the fire of God to consume you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I enter my husband's house, O oh Lord. Every evil altar that is seeking for blood, O oh Lord. I release the fire of God to consume you this afternoon in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God to consume you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Every evil altar that is seeking for blood, O oh Lord. From my father's house, my mother's house, my husband's house, O oh Lord. I release the fire of God to consume you this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, I release the fire of God to consume you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil altar seeking for blood, 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 every
of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. I come against your power this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. I overpower you by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Every evil altar in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my husband's house, oh Lord, seeking for blood, I overcome you by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I render you powerless, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, I come against your power this afternoon in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I overpower you this afternoon by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. I overpower you. I overpower you. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. I render you powerless this afternoon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. I select every evil altar that is seeking for blood, O Lord. In my father's house, O Lord. I select every evil altar that is seeking for blood, O Lord. In my mother's house, O Lord. I overpower you this afternoon by the power of God, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. I overpower you in the name of Jesus. I overpower you in the name of Jesus. I overpower you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma shake le be sanda la baba. Ma sonu lo bo hikara baba son solo bo shanda. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. One more prayer. One more prayer. You are praying that any witch meeting, Hallelujah, that your name will be mentioned, or any of your children's name. Or your spouse name. When they mention your name, planning any evil, straight away may Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say with me, Father God. Father God. As we enter. As we enter. Into the last part. To the last part. Of the year. Of the year. I know. I know that the enemy, that the enemy is planning something. Is planning something. By my prayer. By my prayer. If they in their meetings. In their meetings. In their meetings. In their meetings. If my name. If my name is mentioned. Is mentioned. If my spouse name. If my spouse name is mentioned. Is mentioned. My children's name. My children's my name. My grandchildren's my name. My grandchildren's name. Are mentioned. Are mentioned. Anything. Anything belonging to me. Belonging to me. If they mention it. Is mentioned. Let your fire. Let your fire be released. Be released to consume them. To consume them right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's have your voice and pray. As we come to the end of the year. As we come to the end of the year, Jehovah God, oh Lord. As we come to the end of the year, oh Lord. Wherever that the enemy are planning, oh God, oh Lord. If my name is mentioned, if my children's name is mentioned, if my husband's name is mentioned, oh Lord, let that fire come to catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, wherever the they do, oh, let them mention our name, oh Lord. Let, let your, your fire visit fire. them, oh God. Let your fire Be answer released. them in the name of Be Jesus released. Christ, oh Lord. Wherever, oh Lord, they are doing meeting, oh Lord, they have mentioned my name. They mention the name voice. of my children. Mention the name of my husband, oh Lord. May you visit them, oh Lord. May you come and place them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the great come against. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic power. Satanic power when they have their meetings, if my name is mentioned, if the names of my let your fire answer them, let your fire visit them, oh God, let your fire locate them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let your fire answer them, oh Lord, wherever, oh Lord, whoever they will call our name, oh Lord, in their meeting, oh Lord, whatever my children's name is mentioned, oh Lord, let your fire destroy them, whatever my name is mentioned, oh Lord, in their meeting, oh Lord, let your fire destroy them, whatever that belongs to me, oh Lord. Lord, they take it to their meat, evil it's ones, so Lord. Let your fire destroy them. Let your fire destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your fire destroy them. Let your fire destroy them. Let your fire locate them. Let your fire destroy them, oh Lord. Whatever they will mention my name or my children or my husband's name, oh Lord. Let your fire answer them. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Let your fire destroy them. Straight away in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Let them be destroyed, oh Lord. Destroy you. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed, Lord. Jehovah is your name. We bless you and we commit the rest of the prayer session into your hand. Lord, let there be transformation. Let there be answer prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let's hear God's word and then we will pray again in the name of Jesus. God is good. Now, I want us to talk about our finances. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says that money and selling all things. Is that not so? Praise God. 
So that makes money really good. Money is really, really, really good. And if you lack it, hallelujah, it causes a lot of problems in our lives. And because money is good, we want to pray that, you know, God will take control of our finances and will help us, hallelujah, to have enough so that we will release some also to support the work of God. As much as you and I love God and we want to give to God, if we don't have it, we won't be able to. Is that not so? And it is good for you to know also that God wish for you and I is that money will come into our hands. So if God wants you to have it, why, 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 why shouldn't you have it? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> because money also makes life comfortable. Sometimes when you go to, somebody will tell you, oh, my husband, my wife, and you get into the case, you begin to know that, oh, the root cause is money. You know, praise God. And so money is good. Money is important. And thank God that Jesus know this. He's all-knowing. So he took our poverty to the cross so that we, you and I will walk in riches. Hallelujah. So nothing should stop you and I. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter number Eight and verse nine, Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine. He says that are you there? Because I want you to see it before I read. Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse number nine. He says, "For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grace is God's unmerited favor." Grace is something that God makes available to everybody through Jesus. And if you tap in by your faith, you receive it. Did you hear? It's God's unmerited favor. So, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. That through his poverty, you might become what? Rich. So in this text, we see there is an exchange here. Christ was rich. And in fact, we know that as a creator of the heavens and earth, everything belongs to him. Did you hear? The Bible says in the book of Psalm 50, verse 10, that he owes the cattle on a thousand hill is a phrase for you to know that you know he, everything belongs to him. The Bible says in Psalm 24 verse 1, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The Bible says in the book of Haggai, you know, uh, 2 verse 6 that the silver and the gold belongs to him. So everything belongs to God. And then, for your sake, the Bible says that temporary, he became poor. When was he poor? On the cross, where he lacked all things. But he did that for a reason, for your sake. Say with me, for my sake. So, he became poor for your sake. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that through his poverty, you might become what? Rich, rich in all things, rich in all things. So Jesus have taken your poverty. And if Jesus have taken your poverty so that you will be rich, why walk in poverty? Is it because you love it? No. <laughs> Did you hear? So there's no reason for you to fail. Hallelujah. There is no reason for you and I to fail. And that is why we will not fail. Praise God. So he said, you know the grace. 
of our Lord Jesus, though he was rich, but for our sake he became poor, that through his poverty we might what? Become rich. Hallelujah. So this afternoon we're going to claim the riches of God. Hallelujah. Now, of course, the opposite of this is what? Poverty. And poverty is a curse. That is why Jesus took it. He's taking it out. So as, as, a, as a child of God, hallelujah, Jesus has taken the curse of poverty that you and I must not walk in it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I, I want you to know that poverty is from the devil. Did you hear? When you see, when you go to villages, and you see how people are poor, then you begin to see that, hey, 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 this, this thing is dangerous. You know? Really, really. But this morning, you know, I started thinking, and something came to my mind when I was growing up as a, as a, as a young boy living with my mom in our father's house. There was a, a man renting and the wife, they were renting a room in, in, in the house. You know, in Ghana, we build so many, we build the house inside, it's like a square. And sometimes in every home, there are about 10 rooms. <laughs> do, 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 do you experience that? And so one of them, you know, they, they were renting it. And then I remember this very well. One, one afternoon, getting to around maybe four o'clock. And then the man's wife, sister, came to the house. And I, all this was planned, but in, in that time we didn't know that. <laughs> planned, and then and all what we heard was a great argument going on. Pack your bags, I'm taking you out today. Pack your bags, I'm talking about the sister, they have come in. And in front of our eyes, the, 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 the woman that was married to the man in the, in the house packed her bags and one by one they took everything and they left the house. Praise God. And so I saw this physically and, and then this morning he came to me again I was thinking. So now question is why would your sister come and collapse your marriage like that? It's all because of poverty. The man was struggling because the man was working, lost his job. He was living in a big town. And because he lost his job, they came and settled in a kind of a village kind of life. So financially, things were no good. The man was struggling. And so the woman, sister came, collapsed the marriage. Now the question is, do you think if money was there, this thing would have happened? So poverty is dangerous. That if you are poor, <laughs> hallelujah, if you are poor, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is what we call daytime Roblo. Feeling, feeling that the man was sitting with the wife oh, and the sister came, they had planned it, collapsed the marriage. Because there was no money. I think two, three years later, the, the man, you know, died. Hallelujah. And so that is how it is. So poverty is dangerous. And even the Bible tells us that when you may be wise, but if you are poor, your wisdom doesn't carry weight. That is why you are here and always they are calling you from home. Oh, Susan, so happy, what should we do? It's not because they, it's your money they want. <laughs> do, do, do you hear me? Do you think they love you? It's not the love, it's the money. Because in this life, if money is not backing, if whatever wisdom you have and money is not backing up, you are not going anywhere. Believe you, let somebody give me 100,000 100, pounds. 
and see how I will transform the church within one year. I will go to all the networks in, in the UK. Either I have a message or not, people will come. Did you hear? I will be there 24 7. And as much as I'm speaking, 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 you say, okay, let me go and see. Let me go and see. Let me go and see. So money is really important to life. Are you here? Hallelujah. In the book of Ecclesiastes, go there. You see how, you know, there was a wise man and had no money. Ecclesiastes 9. Though he was wise, there was no money. Praise God. The Bible says that his wisdom that he had uh, did not yield anything good for him. That is why you and I, today we are going to pray that if Jesus have taken the, our poverty to the cross, then we must walk in the riches of God. Hallelujah. Because that is our portion. Did you hear? Are you here? Ecclesiastes chapter number 9, verse 14. It says, there was a little city with a few men in it. And a great king came against it, besieged it, and built great snares around it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. Did you see that? The man was wise, but really poor. And then the Bible says, and he by his wisdom delivers the city. Yet no one remembered the same poor man. Can you, can you see that? The Bible says, you know, it's like you live in a city in the old days when there is war. What, one of the tactics was that the enemy will, you know, besiege the city so that nothing goes in, nothing comes out. When you run out of food and water, you will come and plead. And then that will be the end of the war. So this is what they did. So in the city that they, they live, the scripture says that the enemy came, surrounded the city. But because this man was wise, he was able to de devise a plan. That king, let's do this, let's do that. And then they did that. And when they did that, they were able to overcome the enemy that have come to besiege the city. Now, if a man do this, wouldn't he be praised? Wouldn't he be kind of uh, lifted up? Because he has saved your life. But the Bible says that because he was poor, they did not even say, thank you, Mr. Poor Man. <laughs> and the Bible says that they despise even his wisdom. After everything, they despise it. Oh, look at him. Oh, what can... Did you hear? Somebody, oh, that should have been the king right-hand man after the war. They despise him. That tells you that if, <laughs> if you are poor, in, 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 in my, in Ghana, about five miles away, not, or maybe 10 miles away from my, my city, there's a, there used to be a village. It's still there, but now it has grown to be big. They call it, they give it the name, a man pay here. Meaning women don't like poverty. You know? <laughs> now, now I don't know. The founder of that village may have had an experience. Did you hear? That is why he said that women don't like poverty. Because, hey, like the story I told you, if you're a man and you lose your, <laughs> your ability to make money, daytime robbery, your wife will go. I'm telling you. <laughs> Because women don't like poverty. Even if they don't go, the way they will nag at you. Hey, women. <laughs> Praise God. But it's not going to happen to us. Because Jesus 
as a child of God, have taken our poverty to the cross. <laughs> uh, if, if you live with a woman and temporarily, even temporarily, you, 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 your finances go rough. The, the way, if you don't have a good woman, the way they will nag at you. I'm, I'm the one paying all this. I'm the one. Now, the reason is God didn't create women to be like that. Women are incubators and men are suppliers. Are you here? So don't blame them too much. But the good news is that it's not going to happen to us. Because Jesus has taken it. Now, if you read the Bible, you will see that as part of our salvation, riches are part of it. Are you here? As part of our salvation. That is why all those that gave their life to, uh, uh, to God, even starting from the days of Abraham coming, all of them were, were wealthy people. Hallelujah. When, when you read the Bible, uh, you will find that Abraham, the Bible says, and Abraham was rich in all things. Isaac became rich. David, Solomon, all of them. Why is it so? Because when it comes to riches, the Bible says that it is he who gives us power to get wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. God is the one that gives us power to get wealth. The silver and the gold belongs to him. Amen. And so if that is so, we have to walk in our position. We have to walk in the riches that God has given to us. Are you with me? Hallelujah. And so, whatever fight riches, that is what we are going to deal with. Now, of course, when we go deeper into the Bible, or even in personal life, we can see that there are a lot of things that fight riches. For example, in an unfortunate situation where you are born and raised in a family where there are evil authors, hallelujah, they may try to fight you. Did you hear? Even though Jesus has paved the way for you to climb and be great financially, you have to do and also fight the evil authors to overcome. Uh, we know the story of Gideon, who have to eventually have to break the evil authors of the family in order to uh, prosper. We also know that there are certain things we call covenant of exchange. From the background where you, you and I are coming from, in, in years past, maybe the founding fathers of your family, they went to the juju people, the native doctors, and they exchanged the blessing of the family for something else. Are you here? Sometimes in some families, you know, maybe they needed men. So they will go to uh, a native doctor and say, this is what we want. And then maybe the man will say, bring this, bring that. There will be an exchange. Hallelujah. And then they will take the wealth of the family away. And then they will give them the thing that they want. They do here. But it, it is there forever. So if you, you are a man and you are born into that family, though you work hard, that something may be fighting you and you don't know what is happening. Sometimes it is because of this. Or it can even be a curse on the family unless it is identified and broken. Are you here? So now that you and I know that the Bible says that God wants you and I, praise God, to be financial sound, we are going to pray that the things that God have for us or want us to, we will enjoy it. In the book of Isaiah, Go there, please, quickly. Isaiah 65. In Isaiah 55, let me read from verse number 22. 
Isaiah 65, verse 22, then we will begin to pray. It says, they shall not build and another inhabit. That is your portion. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. So as much as you are working, you will enjoy it. And then in verse number 23 says, they shall not labor in vain. Hallelujah. They will not labor in vain. So I will not labor in vain. I want to labor. There will be results. Did you hear? When I work, there will be evidence of my riches. Praise God. Nor bring forth children for trouble, for they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord and the offspring with them. So we will be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you, you and I know that the blessing of the Lord, the Bible says, it maketh rich and he add no sorrow to it. Hallelujah. So you, you and I will walk in the riches of God irrespective of our background and where we are coming from. Are you here? Say with me, I will walk in the riches of the living God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, from today, you will enjoy the labor of your fruits. And not only that, the riches of God will be your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Psalm 112, Psalm 112, as long as you and I fear God, hallelujah, as long as you and I fear God, in verse 3, he said, wealth and riches will be in your house. Psalm 112, verse 3, wealth and riches, say with me, wealth and riches will be in my house. So it doesn't matter irrespective of what is going on. Wealth and riches will be your portion. Are you here? So that is what we are going to pray for this afternoon. That as you are working, as you are laboring, there will be evidence. Evidence will come out. That hey, I did not labor in vain. This is my riches. Because Jesus has taken our poverty Hallelujah. Praise God. So that we will walk in his riches. And God's word said, wealth and riches will be in my house. Hallelujah. Praise God. But remember this. When money happens and money comes into your hand, make sure you release some. Don't be stingy. Release some to support the work of God. Release some to support God's work. In the name of Jesus. Can we stand up, please? We don't have much time. So we are going to pray in Jesus' name. Say with me, Father God, <clears throat> as I pray today, I claim your promise. Your word says, wealth and riches will be in my house. In the name of Jesus, I claim it. I declare from this day forward, from this day forward wealth, and riches wealth and riches will be, will be in, my house. in my house. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray. Lift it up. Magadori Abagadaya. Wealth and riches, so Lord, wealth and riches, so wealth and riches will be in my house. In the name of Jesus. Any curse, any curse that prevents wealth and riches, I command it to be broken. I command, it to be destroyed I command it to be broken. Any curse in the family, yeah, that prevent wealth, wealth, and wealth and riches to be in my house. By the name of Jesus, by the finished work of the cross, I command the curse to be broken. In Jesus' name, I command the curse to be broken. I command the curse to be broken. In the name of Jesus, Santa. I command it to be broken Jesus this afternoon in Jesus' name. name. Amen. 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 Now we are praying to break every covenant of exchange.
that may have gone on in our family. Mm. Whatever have our fathers may have exchanged the fortunes of, our, of the family for something else, we are reversing it yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. The Bible says that, you know, in Christ we have a new and a better covenant. Amen. Based on better promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yes. We have a new and a better covenant. Amen. Based on better promises. Hallelujah. That is Amen. Hebrew chapter 8, verse 6. So once we have a new and a better covenant, based on, you know, better promises, we are in the name of Jesus, breaking Hebrew 8, verse 6. Say with me, Father God. Father God. It is written. It is written. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have a new. I, I have a new. I have renewed. And a better covenant and a better covenant based on based on better promises better promises in Christ Jesus in Christ Jesus today today I enter I enter into my father's house into my father's my house, mother's house my mother's house my spouse my house, spouse house any, covenant any covenant any covenant of exchange of exchange that have gone on have gone wrong, in time past in time past that they have exchanged that they have exchanged their fortune their fortune of the family of the family for something else Else. From something else. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And by the power, and by the power of, the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I reverse. I reverse. I reverse. I reverse. I reverse. Whatever. Whatever. They have done. They have done. I break. I break. I break. I break. The evil covenant. The evil covenant. In the name of Jesus. In the name of now Jesus. Lift up your voice Father and begin to pray. God, Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you. Let Karamaba. Pray as if you mean it. Pray as if you mean it. Cause the evil covenant of a chain to be broken. To be broken. Every covenant in my father's house, Lord. Every evil covenant in my mother's house, in my house, Lord. Every covenant in my family, every covenant of I break, I break it. I break it. I break it. Every evil covenant in, in my family. Name. I break it right now. I break it in the name of Jesus. In the name I reverse. Of Jesus. I reverse every evil covenant, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Whatever I reverse, Lord. 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 Every evil covenant that was exchanged, Lord. I reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Every evil covenant that was exchanged, Lord. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I command it to be broken in the name I break every evil covenant, Lord. I destroy their power. I destroy their stronghold. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Every evil covenant, I break you in the name of Jesus. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the Bible says in the book of Job, Job chapter 20, verse 15, it said, they have swallowed down riches. Hallelujah. But they will do what? They will vomit it. So, in time past, they swallow it. But today, they have to vomit it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are Amen. you here? No, 
Never again will they be able to swallow your riches. In the name of Jesus. Say with me, Father God. Father God. As I pray today. As I pray today. It is written. It is written. They have swallowed. They have swallowed. They have swallowed down. They have swallowed down. Riches. Riches. But they will vomit it. But they will vomit it. As I pray today. As I pray today. Whatever caused them. Whatever problem. To be able to, be able to, swallow, down to swallow down my riches. My riches. From, today, From today, I command them, I command them to, vomit to, it. to vomit it. Right now, right now as, I lift up my as, voice, as I lift up my voice, and I pray, and I pray may they vomit it. Let them vomit may it. they vomit it. May they vomit In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. lift up your Ma voice and pray. Makatoria, libidibide, karabasantoria, may they vomit it. May they vomit it. they have swallowed that riches. They have swallowed that riches. They have swallowed that riches. But they will vomit it. But they will vomit it. May they 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 have swallowed it. Whatever they have swallowed that belong to me. I command it to vomit it this afternoon. In the name of Jesus. Let them vomit it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. In Isaiah chapter 60, he says, verse 11. Therefore, your gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles. Say with me, my gate. My gate. From today. From today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command you. I command you. To open. To open. I command you. I command you. To open. To open. Right now. Right now. May the wealth. May the wealth. And the riches and the riches of the world of the world come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. By the word of God. By the word of now God. Now lift up your voice and pray. May the wealth of the Gentiles. May the wealth of the Gentiles be released to us. Be released to us. Because of God's grace. And because of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. For that Jehovah Receive right now in the name of Jesus the grace. I receive the receive name right of Jesus now Christ, oh Lord. the favor of the God grace, oh Lord. for I financial the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. financial favor the grace of financial in the name of Jesus. I receive the name of Jesus. The grace, oh Lord, of financial progress in the name of Jesus. I receive, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Now, listen, Amen. when we are praying prayers like this, <laughs> Be fervent too. Amen. Now, uh, three days ago in the news, uh, there's a guy in America, Jeff uh, Benzo or so, uh, Bezos. Yes, he's the founder of Amazon. Uh, the guy is so rich. He had a, a fortune of about 300 billion. And so he said, he, this, I, 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 I heard him, he said, I'm going to give some of my money away. To the tune of 300 billion. He just, he want to give it away. But to him, he's too much. Are you here? So when God says, your gate will be open continually and the wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. You should have prayed very seriously. 
Because you don't know, the guy can even tap computer and your name will pop up. And the next thing is you go to your bank and say, what, what million is there? God, the wrath of the Gentile solar will come to me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The, name of Jesus. No, no. The, the other day, they, they were on Ghana radio, they were talking that, ah, why should pastors pray that we should arrest the city? And, and then later on, I called Van Dyke and I said, listen, you are talking what you don't know and what you don't understand. God owns everything. That's right. So the money that Ghana is seeking is only three billion. There are some people with 300 billion they want to give away. Now, if God touched that man's heart, he would just say, Ghana, take 10 billion. Amen. Our trouble is over. And so you are sitting on the radio and you are talking what you don't know. Are you listening to me? When people don't know something, they say anything. I said, listen. God can even touch America and say, go and pay Ghana debt. And they can wipe you out in one second. So if as pastors we are praying that Lord intervene in Ghana's situation, what well, have God got to do with you? Huh? He said, your gate will be open. Say with me, my, my gate. My gate. Will be open. Will be open. Continuously. Continuously. And the wealth. And the wealth. Of the Gentiles. Of the Gentiles. Will come. Will come. To me. To me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give him Hallelujah. praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has promised. He will never fail. Will never fail. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 8, 28, verse 12. It says, the Lord will open to you his good treasures. Amen. Hallelujah. The heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. Amen. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Say what you mean from today. From today. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Money. Money. Is coming into my hands. Is coming into my hands. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The heavens. The heavens. Will be open. Will be open. Unto me. Unto me. The good treasures. The good treasures. Of the living God. Of the living God. Is coming to me. Is coming to me. From today. From today. I will lend. I will lend. To many nations. To many nations. And I will never borrow. And I will never borrow. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. Will borrow. I borrow? Will I borrow? In the name of Jesus. In the name of now Jesus. pray these promises. Father Jehovah, pray. God, I stand upon your word. Pray. This afternoon, oh God. Pray. Now, what said, oh Lord, will be Cover a yourself with this. In the name of Jesus. God will 
will bring the heavens so shall for you. Be in the mighty name of Jesus good treasures. Christ, Lord. I will not borrow, oh God. Treasure. I will be a lender, oh Lord, in the mighty good name treasure. of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. You will I will be a lender in the name of Jesus to many Christ, oh Lord. Nations. I will lend to many you nations in the mighty name borrow. of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. You will lend to I will many not borrow nations. in the mighty name of Jesus you Christ, oh Lord. I will lend, oh Lord, to in many nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. But as I prophesy your word this afternoon, oh Lord, so shall it be the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. But I stand upon your word this afternoon, oh God, oh Lord. Your word said, oh Lord, I will be a lender, not a borrower. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. So shall it be my life, oh God. So shall it be the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. I will be a lender, oh God. I will not be a borrower in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. I will lend to many nations in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. I will lend to Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Thank you for tuning in today. I believe this program has been a blessing. The word of God and great testimonies are taking place. Healing is taking place. The word of God is being preached powerfully. Do well to visit us. I look forward to see you at Christian Hope Church, 77 Molly Road, late. Please do well to share this program so that more people will be blessed. Thank you and God bless you.